Impact. 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 Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Shooter, and in today's video, it's going to be covering the difference between the six millimeter ARC, which is a new offering from Hornady, against some other common AR-15 cartridges. Now, in the background here is my Uinta Precision UPR-15. It is their complete rifle setup, and this one has their matching upper and lower billet setup. This is a bolt action AR-15, and it's not a straight pull, it's not a conversion, this is a true three lug bolt action rifle. 60 degree bolt throw, really cool setups from Uinta Precision here. Now, you went to Precision actually worked hand in hand with Hornady when developing this cartridge, and Hornady used their actions to test pressures and whatnot in the AR-15 platform. Which means, you went to Precision is one of the first companies to have the six millimeter ARC as an option. So if you're looking for a long range, high performance rifle, be sure to check out you went to Precision to immediately be able to get your six millimeter ARC, which are available now. Now, let's get into it. I've been shooting the 6mm ARC across a few different range trips now, and I've shot it out to 500, 700, and 800 yards on multiple trips, just testing it out, seeing how it performed. Um, on multiples of those trips, it's been windy. It's hard to get out and not shoot in the wind. But, taking a look at what the 6 ARC is, its closest relative is going to be a 6.5 Grendel. It actually uses the same 6.5 Grendel bolt face on the brass. So if we take a look between these two right here, on the right, there I guess, this would be the 6.5 Grendel. This is a 6 ARC. And essentially what they've done is they've pushed the shoulder back just a tiny bit on the ARC. So the headspace datum is actually a little bit shorter than the 6.5 Grendel is. And uh, then they've necked down to a 6 millimeter. The overall length is still going to fit in the standard AR-15 magazine length at 2.25, 2.26, somewhere in that range. Um, right here, we've got a standard 223-556. This one's got a 77 grain Sierra Match King in it. And uh, as you can see, the case length on the 223 is much longer than the Grendel or the ARC is. And that's because they moved the case length down while making the body of the case fatter to hold more powder at the shorter length. So you're still able to get the solid 25 to 30 grain charge of powder in there to propel these projectiles. Now the 6 ARC that I have is the uh, factory loaded ammunition from Hornady. This is their 108 grain ELD match loading and this stuff has performed really really awesome for me. On my first range trip out there to get my scope zeroed in, the second group I shot I put three rounds into like 0.18 inches, and then I had a fourth in there and I ended up pulling the fourth shot. But that's how it goes. I had the fourth, I wasn't gonna not send it. So having fun out there and definitely surprised by its performance. Not only did it get a good grouping, but also on the velocity data, the numbers I got were like five foot a second standard deviations, extremely low velocity spreads on this. Right out of the factory, Hornady's making awesome match ammo, just like they're known to create. So already got really good ammunition available for it. I really like that as uh, some other Wildcat offerings, maybe like the Valkyrie, did not come out of the gate as strong as Hornady is with their match ammunition. Speaking of the Valkyrie, I've got a 224 Valkyrie right here. This one, I have a hand-loaded 95 grain Sierra Match King loaded in here. And now when you compare this to the six millimeter ARC, the case length is just a little bit longer and the shoulder sits a little bit further forward than the six ARC. But the diameter of the case head is smaller than the Grendel bolt faces slash six millimeter ARC bolt face. So this is a fatter, shorter case than the Valkyrie is. And that goes to say the same thing for the 223. The 223 has the smallest bolt face the Valkyrie uses the 6.8 SPC slash Valkyrie bolt face. 
and this is the 6ARC slash Grendel bolt face. So there's basically three common AR-15 bolt faces out there, 223, Grendel, and Valkyrie. That's what you're most commonly going to find, which is good because there's already offerings out there for Grendel bolts. So right out of the gate, you're going to be able to find a bolt that works. All you will need to do is get a barrel that is chambered in 6ARC to get going. Now, the velocities I was able to capture um, as compared to the Hornady match ammunition, what they state on their box. They say with a 24 inch barrel, they're able to get up to 2750 feet per second. On my 22 inch barrel, um, I was able to get 2730 feet per second. This one is running a 7.5 twist. So every seven and a half inches, it's doing a full 360 degree rotation as it goes down the bore. Uh, with a Grendel, the common twist rate was eight. Uh, same with like a 6.5 Creedmoor, one to eight twist. The Valkyries is what uh, a lot of people couldn't quite figure out is what twist rate to go with. Most common is one to seven. Some people were running even faster, like six and a half twist. But uh, with my preferred barrel blanks equipped, you went to precision here. I have the seven and a half twist, three R, which means three lands and grooves on the six millimeter bore. That uh, gives you all the same advantages of five R, just with the smaller bore, the larger lands and grooves to engage the bullet to get uh, less bullet deformation while shooting your bullets downrange. And speaking of shooting them downrange, I was able to get, uh, like I said, got the scope zeroed at 100 yards, shot some excellent groups. The next range trip, I went out in some extreme wind, like where I was out at 500 yards with the 108 grain ELD, which is a known good bullet. It's got a high ballistic coefficient. Um, shooting out there to 500 yards, I believe I had a 1.2 mil hold into the wind. Um, using my arc and optics to measure out that 1.2 mil hold and I uh, was able to get some centered hits on a Ipsic target just having some fun and some crazy wins um, and then I followed that up with a, another trip out to 700 yards where there was just more of a slight breeze going on I had a 0.3 mil hold wind there and then I actually ended up dialing in wind on my last trip to 800 yards which looks like I had four tenths wind to get me on my 10 inch plate out there so awesome performance right out of the gate and uh, what I really like about the 6 ARC, it's low recoil, it's capability to go in a lighter weight, smaller AR-15 frame package versus something like a six millimeter Creedmoor. Right here, you can see the difference between the two. These are the same bullet loaded in both of these, the 108 grain ELD match bullet, and uh, the Creedmoor is just much larger. It requires the use of an AR-10. Um, this is an AR-15, which is going to be more compact, lighter weight um, compared to the six millimeter Creedmoor. With these, I'm able to propel the 108 grain with the factory ammo around 3000 feet a second in the uh, six Creedmoor. With these, you're getting 2730 to 2750, depending on barrel length, which uh, is really good performance when you compare their size. So this is the more efficient design here for the amount of powder you're using versus the amount of velocity you're getting. The six arc is a really good little efficient round. It's a ton of fun to shoot. And I was able to lay down and shoot this thing repeatedly. And quite honestly, I could have laid there all day and shot it even when on a lighter platform. My six Creedmoor is quite a bit heavier than this, but I can shoot that for a long time. I do have a break on mine. Um, it's similar to a 243 Winchester if you've ever shot one of those, but have not shot a six millimeter Creedmoor. So overall guys, the 6 ARC, I've really enjoyed my time with it. Um, before its release, I was able to get out and get a couple range trips down. That's what it is when it compares to other AR-15 cartridges, like shooting a 77 grain bullet out of a 223, uh, you're usually around 2,800 feet a second, maybe with an 18 inch barrel. And then the Grendel is going to be quite a bit slower. This is the slow one of the bunch because it shoots the heaviest bullet. So this one's a 123 grain and I think I'm somewhere around 2,450 feet a second. Uh, the 95 grain in the Valkyrie, I got up to 2,650, maybe 2,700. And with the ARC, 2,730 with 108 grain bullet. So as far as the balance of speed versus bullet weight, I really like how this one performs. With this uh, six millimeter projectiles here, high ballistic coefficient, cuts through the wind well, but it's going fast enough to where it doesn't just drop off and fall on its face like 6.5 Grendel does, in my opinion. So 6.5 Grendel, I would recommend for short range uh, hunting because of the bullet weight for the AR-15 cartridges until I started shooting the 6 Arc. 
I think this thing would be excellent on antelope and deer within a reasonable distance. Um, I would probably trust this a little bit further than I would the 6.5 Grendel because it's shooting so much slower. Um, so big game hunting as far as medium game deer sized animals, um, I would not hesitate to trust the ARC to take something like that down at a few hundred yards. It's going to perform awesome for you. Um, I believe Hornady is going to have a 103 grain ELD offering available soon. Now when developing the 6ARC, essentially what they were trying to do is increase performance out of an AR-15 platform where they wanted to uh, beat 308 performance out of the AR-10. Go with a lighter system, Hornady says up to a 30% lighter system, but exceeds 308 performance and terminal performance, uh, which they worked with the DOD, I believe, in some aspects. So really cool cartridge. It's already been in use with the DOD for over a year from what they say. And uh, apparently they really like it and they're bringing it to market. So that's always good. It's already got uh, support on the defense side of things, which will really help a cartridge as you go. All right, guys, I greatly appreciate your time. I hope this helped you out. Be sure to check out my shooting video with the Hornady 6mm ARC. And that is in my Uinta Precision UPR 15. Again, using preferred barrel blanks, uh, seven and a half twist on this one. And then I was using my Arkin Optics EP4 first focal plane scope there as well. Links to everything in the description. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this cartridge and then let me know what you want me to try and do with this thing. Um, I've got one of the first ones. So if you're curious if it can perform in some aspect, let me know and I'll see what I can do to accomplish that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Impact!